um, you know, sitting down and watch film, uh, you know, for me, I'm more of a, a, a visual learner. So imp implementing more of using our walkthrough room, stuff like that to be able to get a better grasp and understanding of the, of the offense and what we've, we've been doing this, over this break or since the off season started. Um, and really just getting with my quarterback coach. Um, you know, my quarterback coach came to, to Baton Rouge a couple times, you know, working with him, just fine tuning little things, little details. Um, and then when I went back to, to California to train, you know, just doing the little things. But, you know, they're always supportive of me um, ever since I made the decision to come back. It seems like you're like often, like when, when y'all have a break of some kind, are you in California training over there at 3DTV? Yeah, I try to get there as much as possible. Um, you know, just if we get a little break in, I feel like it's right for me to go out there. You know, um, obviously, you know, uh, Coach Sloan, they, they know that I'm going out there to get work in. Um, so as much, as many times as possible, I can, I always go out there. We, we heard a lot this off season, just in terms of just getting you a little bit more aggressive with the deep ball throws. Just how do you think you've really progressed in that area? Do you feel more comfortable with taking those shots and being more aggressive over those conversations? Like? Yeah, it, it, I mean, that was a vocal point of what we talked about, what we discussed. Um, it's being more aggressive. Um, we know that we got to take more shots, and we're very explosive on the outside with our receivers. Um, but I mean, it's, it's been a lot. It's been a lot better this this off season. You know, being able to get the timing with the receivers, um, the bond that that we have, and the chemistry that we have uh, on and off the field. You can see that our timing is better. Uh, we really took took focus to really. Um, build our time in this offseason, you know, work as much as possible while also being smart, but knowing that we want to accomplish things this year and it, it all starts with us. What's it what's it been like incorporating some of these new offensive pieces, whether it's Aaron Anderson or some of the freshman receivers and tight ends you guys have brought in? Just just what's it been like in terms of their learning curve and getting them up to speed with the offense? It's been great. Um, you know, having them come in and buy into our standard, our process of what we what we want to accomplish. Uh, they've been great, you know majority of those kids are from Louisiana, so it's a different type of bond where everybody is usually from Louisiana. Um, and really just going out there and just learning them as a person, not really as a football player. But they come in, their work ethic is, is second to none. You know, they want to get better, they want to learn, uh, and they want to contribute to this team, you know, so we can all accomplish our goals and try to accomplish our goals at the end of the season. When, when you talk about goals and expectations for this year, obviously you guys are coming off an SEC West win, playing in the championship game. What does that next step look like for you guys? Well, have you guys talked about that yet in terms of setting those season goals and what that looks like? I would say um, our expectation, our goals, you know, we, we obviously want to win a national championship, uh, you know, but our thing is that we got to take it day by day and not worry about the end result, but worry about the process um, because I, the process is what's going to take us to get there at the end result. Um, you know, we want to win the national championship. We want to you know, win the SEC uh, championship, win the SEC West again. But, you know, it all started this offseason, how we approach each and every day. In California, what other quarterbacks did you work with who worked out with you? Um, so when I work out with, uh, sometimes, you know, Bryce and CJ Stroud and then we're out there um, just working out with them or, um, you know, Sam Hartman from uh, Notre Dame now, Tyler Buckler um, from, uh, he went to Alabama, you know, just, just kids like that. Um, Michael Penix Jr. Washington. So, you know, it's, it's different type of kids from everywhere. They come out and they're working out with me and working out with them. So go out there and be able to, to build bonds with those guys but also, you know, still be a competitor at the end of the day, trying to match throw for throw. You know, it makes the workout fun. Yes, yeah, so I asked you, how does that raise your level as far as you working with all these other guys that you play against and I guess the bond you have. Then I guess you all just you know, like look at each other and trade tips and like, what about this? But then, I mean, is that something you'd you like to do? Yeah, I think uh, the best thing for us is that we all have a healthy respect for each other and each other's game. Um, going out there, and we really uh, we watch each other on Saturdays, um, and it's it's great to see guys how they train in the off season. You know, you, sometimes you don't really get to see how guys uh, train in the off season because you're so far away from each other. But you know, it's a healthy respect, man. And as a competitor, you know, you want to go out there and you want to just compete. Uh, with each and every throw, you know, all, uh, if he throw a perfect ball, I want to match it. And, you know, just keep it going so the competitive spirit, uh, it helps us get the flow better and get a better workout. What do you feel like you're at now, just as a, as a player and uh, now going to your five? 
I feel like I'm more mature. I grow uh, a lot, you know, from when I was a freshman to now uh, going to year five. So I feel like it's, it's been uh, it's been a roller coaster, you know, face some adversity. Uh, but you know, I'm happy to be here now. I just feel like as a player, as a person, I've grown a lot. It really, uh, really seems like you and us the last several months, a year or so, have really developed a, a nice little, you know, close bond. Just, just talk about your relationship with him and maybe how it's developed, because he's obviously a guy who's probably been pushing these ever since you got here. Yeah, um, me and us, uh, relation is unique, you know, is where he's like a little brother to me. Um, you know, I, I take him, take him under my wing. I try to help him out as much as I can from the experiences I've dealt uh, since I was a true freshman all the way now. Um, but it's our relationship is it's like uh, we're brothers at the end of the day. Um, I want to see what's best for him. He wants to see what's best for me. Um, and like you say, you know, we've been pushing each other ever since I came here. Because uh, at the end of the day, uh, we keep pushing each other. I know he'll push me to be where I want to be, and I'll push him to, to be where he wants to be. So that's how I look at it, our dynamic and our relationship. These events are sort of an opportunity for you to kind of show who you are to the league. Is there anything, you, like goals you had here today that you wanted to like tell people about yourself or that you were just trying to maybe accomplish in terms of brand building? Um, I'll just say that as accomplished as brand building, um, really just to showcase people who, who I am as a person and, and what I stand for. Um, for me, I want to, when I made that transformation uh, to LSU, I wanted to, to be that role model for kids that they could look up to. Um, as far as, you know, if they want to play quarterback and they want to just accomplish especially people from uh, back home on that, um, go out there and really just know that they can accomplish a lot of things if they put their mind to it. Um, and that's why I wanted, that's what I, my legacy to be. I wanted to be that kids can look up to me and tell their parents, oh, I want to be like Jay when I grow up. So that's a big thing to me. What do you remember about last year's Florida State game? Last year's Florida State game, what do you remember about it? I remember a lot. I remember it's our <laughs> our first game with each other. Uh, first game as a whole staff, a whole team. Um, you know, we had some rough parts in that game, um, and then obviously our last drive was, was probably a big one, a big vocal point in that. But you know, I remember a lot. Uh, I remember all the mistakes that we made, all the good plays that we made. Um, so that's probably much what I remember. Do you feel like there was a moment maybe last year where things started to click for that team, and maybe some? areas in which you guys have kind of used to propel that into this offseason and how you guys are preparing for this season? Uh, I would say it really all started um, after the Tennessee game um, for us. Um, you know, we obviously we lost that game, but, you know, I, I feel like that, that kick-started the momentum to how we wanted to finish our season and how we could really play as a team. Um, after that, you know, we had a team meeting um, with everybody, you know, just to say, like, oh, like, we're here right now two losses already how do we want the season to end we could go six and six or we could prepare our season and, and try to go finish off strong um so i would say after that probably kick started how we how we uh our standard that we set as far as going out there and playing hard uh, never giving up and, and really coming together as a team you told us that when you last spring when you got here you're like open to you know being here a couple of years because you had that extra season eligibility but did you kind of envision you know, this summer still being here and with everything that you had in, had in front of you all as a team? Um, I knew what, what we had coming back. I knew we were going to be young. Um, I didn't know what everybody was going to do. I didn't know what I was going to do at this point in time. I didn't know if I was going to go to the NFL or if I was going to come back to college. Um, but, you know, as the season went on, you know, the guys, I mean, Will Campbell was recruiting me back. I would love to play with you. Um, and, you know, all fell in line, you know. Everybody on offense came back. Um, you know, we, we obviously lost a, a great player in Kayshawn. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited and happy to see what he does at the next level because I know he's a, he's a phenomenal player. Um, but, you know, the majority, the majority of people came back. You know, we had some, some areas on defense we needed to fill. But, you know, I'm, I'm confident in those guys. I'm confident in the D-line. I'm confident in the, the linebacker, the secondary, how they, how they go out there and take uh, each and every day. But, you know, it, it, I wanted to end my college career, you know, hopefully with a championship. And I looked at the team and I felt like we could do it. Wait, so what's it like when Will Campbell's recruiting you? <laughs> uh, it was, you know, Will, Will was my dog. Um, you know, it was great. He was like, I'd love to play with you again. Uh, and he was like, we're going to be good next year. 
uh, obviously the whole line is going to be better in another, system, in another year in the system. So, you know, I, I couldn't tell well no. He's got that deep country accent, and he seems like he's more kind of a straight shooter. He is, he's like, very much a straight shooter, but I, I couldn't tell well no. I couldn't tell no. Last year, when you finally made the decision to throw down field and you didn't hold back, what was that like? I mean, what, what, what barrier broke down where – because when you throw the ball, you really gun it. I mean, you can get the ball to guys, but you finally lost that reluctance to finally can do that. What happened? Um, I would say I really uh, had a conversation with, with Coach Kelly and Coach, uh, Coach Sloan. Um, you know, sitting there watching the film, it was like, just be out there, just go out there and be decisive. Like, you see it, um, just throw it. You know, you got the, the guys out there that can make the plays for you. You don't always have to fall back trying to make a play for myself. Um, so, obviously, as the season went on, uh, after the Auburn game, Tennessee game, you know, we had a decent game on offense. Um, and then the Florida game was really what kicked it off. You know, everybody came together. Um, and we were just out there just playing football, playing for each other um, and having fun. I was probably the main thing is, is we got back to having fun and playing the game that we all love. You got comfortable. Most definitely. So, when you go into this, this year's Florida State game, you feel like you're like a totally different guy stepping out there than the uh, guy you know, yeah, in the wide eye last year. Like, well, well, okay, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I mean, I know the expect from, from the team, I know the expect from the offense and how Coach Denbrock and them call, call the plays, um, what they're looking for in each every play. And they obviously know us as players and know our strengths and our weaknesses so far now. I think it's interesting, like in the rest of the SEC, there's been a lot of change in coordinators and quarterbacks and so that. Y'all have this continuity that's kind of different. Um, but you've been there before with new coordinators. So what is the process like of getting on the same page with a new coordinator? Um, it's, a, it's a process. Um, he's trying to figure out how you play within a game. Obviously, they see you out there in practice and, and see how you move and see what you can do. But it's different when it's a game time situation. So you're trying to see how they call plays and what they're they're thinking, their thought process is behind it. They're trying to figure out how you are as a player. Um, so, I mean, going with a new coordinator, you know, I, I dealt with, with it pretty much uh, my college career. So, you know, coming back this year, having that stability and that, that continuity with the, the offense and the whole staff, you know, it's great. And I feel like they know us as players and we know them as coaches.